has a thriving business and fastest growing property corridor in West Africa, Etiosa Access remains a strategic community to the administration of Governor Babajide Sonwolu. This is why the administration align with the first pillar of the theme's agenda, which is traffic management and transportation has been executed on various transportation-oriented projects to further open up and fast-track development of the area. To underscore this commitment, the administration embarked on junction improvement projects to resolve the traffic gridlock that caused delay in travel time during peak hours, wasted productive man hours, and induced stress for road users. This transportation solution led to the replacement of the first, second, and Abraham Adesoya roundabouts along Leki Ewe Expressway with signalized intersections. The removal of the roundabouts allow for channelization of drainage to enhance the runoff of surface water, introduction of dedicated and additional lanes, installation of actuated or intelligent traffic signal lights for effective traffic management, provision of additional dedicated lane to the existing ones, and walkway to manage pedestrian traffic where pedestrian bridge is located. Since their completion, the projects have led to improved travel time, stress-free commuting, organized environment, and better management of traffic. These are campaign promises that we give to citizens of Lagos. And we said that once we come in, our first pillar is transportation and traffic management. So what we're doing is we're, we're putting infrastructure in place to be able to re reduce travel time improve traffic infrastructure and let people have a better journey on our roads. And so that's why you can see that it's very deliberate from Abraham Adesu and Roundabout to the second roundabout and to the first roundabout. You've seen that now everybody in this corridor have a better experience. But more importantly at the Abraham Adesu, we also did what we call a drainage improvement. You saw and you noticed that we usually have a huge flooding on that corridor. And so we've done a full drainage infrastructure that will ensure that they do not have any form of flooding on that road in that corridor again. In order to provide easy guidance to pedestrians and motorists on the roads, the administration undertook the painting of cabs, medians and jerseys on Osborne Alfred Ruwana Road, Amadu Bailu Way, Adeola Odeku Road, Gerald Alexandra Bondilon Road, Awolowo Road, Ikoyi and Admiralty Roads in Leki. Road markings were also done on many roads such as Admiralty, Bondilon and Alexandra, Kofoa Bayomi, Uzumba Badiway, Freedom Road to Abiodun Akbatira and Akinadishola Streets. The road and pavement markings complemented by the newly installed road studs, now serve as guide to road users, ensure lane discipline, allow road maximization, and improve safety of lives on the roads. Through the Lagos State Metropolitan Area Transport Authority, LAMATA, the Sanwolu administration has stepped up the implementation of bus reform project with the construction of new bus shelters along routes designated for the project. The shelters have passenger seats, information boards, pedestrian walkways and ramps, rigid pavement laybys, see-through fences, solar panels, lighting systems, cubicles for e-ticketing and manual ITS control, guard railings and steel bollards, drainage with grating covers CSM markings and advertising panels. The Victoria Island, Leki and Aja shelters will provide cover for commuters against adverse weather effects, ensure convenience, facilitate seamless fare payment, reduce environmental degradations and facilitate employment generation. The bus shelters will support Aja bus terminal and depot which are major components of the bus reform project. The terminal and depot, which construction is fast nearing completion, will have 
ticketing and seating areas, passenger display board, offices, ITS room and control room, gallery, food court and commercial areas, public conveniences and ATM gallery. The terminal and depot are to be delivered along with road junction improvements at Ado, a pedestrian bridge and 26 bus stops with laybys. As the takeoff and destination point, as well as maintenance station for buses of the project, the terminal and depot will also have bus parkings and staking area for medium capacity buses, loading and offloading bay for midi buses, mechanical workshop, wash bay, diesel and PMS storage tanks with pump island, master point and others. In consolidation of the gains achieved by the state on full automation of vehicle licensing and documentation processes, among related issues, the Samolu administration has completed another one-stop center at Lekki. The center, located beside Water Corporation, Akim Dixon Road at Lekki Phase 1, is a purpose-built facility having a business-like environment that supports an exciting customer's experience. Equipped with modern facilities and equipment, along with back-end offices, manned by qualified and appropriate personnel from relevant agencies, the one-stop center will bring business closer to the people, ensure ease of doing business to the motoring populace and reduce their operational costs. The Samolu administration has recorded tremendous progress in opening up of the waterways through acquisition of ferry boats to ease water transportation. It also launched Lagos Ferry App to facilitate better consumer experience, increase response rates to complaints and suggestions, and also serve as tool for accurate data collection on Lagos Ferry services. I'm excited, I'm happy that all of you negotiants can see that indeed some of our promises are becoming a reality Within a short while, water transportation is one of the internodal transportation tripods we are committed to developing as a strategy to reduce congestion on our roads, which accounts for over 90% of people commuting in Lagos. It is glaring that for Lagos to be functional and to, and to become a smart city that we all desire, there must be diversification of the mode of transportation. There must be interconnectivity of rail, of road, and water transportation system. Meanwhile, the recruitment of more personnel for Lagos State Traffic Management Authority, LASMA, increase in operational hours and improvement in personnel welfare by the administration has led to greater commitment in managing the traffic for the benefit of the populace. Indeed, a robust and progressive economy can only be achieved through policies, infrastructure and services that assist people to be productive, meet timelines and achieve their potentials. The intervention projects of Governor Babajide Sangwolu's administration in the transportation sector are achieving these and more. They are not only facilitating ease of commuting around Etiosa, they are also ensuring better traveling experience for citizens.